Hey, welcome to our fifth and final uh, in our series on asking for support when you need it and why it's hard with ADHD. We're talking about annoying stuff that gets in the way of asking for help. So first off, support can be expensive. Yes. Mental health, therapy, like a lot of times these things come out of pocket. Coaching pretty much always does. Um, a few rare exceptions. Um, so how could we do that, Colleen? Like, how could we maybe make it more affordable? Well, uh, like asking the professional, like the, the worst they can do is say no, which really sucks for rejection sensitivity, but um, asking you will have a higher chance of hearing it than not. Uh, another aspect is um, I believe that um, students who are working toward their master's or PhD in psychology look for people who are are willing to have students try out on them or practice on them uh coaches I, I know for a fact personally that that is definitely the case as well um so trying to seek out in um, training in, yeah institutions that may have uh, a, a conduit for communication therein uh, might be might be super helpful yeah yeah and and it it doesn't hurt to ask like that's that's yep. the main thing is that a lot of times those things exist. There are students and there are students for all kinds of medical things too. So another barrier is finding support for ADHD things. A lot of times requires filling out forms, which is mm. awful with mm. ADHD. Oh, what can I do about that? Well, um, two things. One, technologically speaking, especially if there are large fields where you fill out like sentences or paragraphs of something, don't type it in there, type it in somewhere else and then save it like even in a bulleted list in the same order as the form. Because if your power goes out or something goes hinky, you want to have that saved so you can just copy it back right back over. Um, and, and then even feeling the mental space to, to write it out as a first draft and then copy it over later can be helpful. Um, and also using again, like we've said in a previous video, whatever you have. So tell ADHD Twitter you're about to do uh, a fill out a form or the guild or uh, Focusmate and uh, ADHD Hive, the uh, co-working um, organizations that exist. Uh, those people can be super helpful uh, for, for getting those forms that we love so very much. Yeah, because just doing it with somebody else can like make a huge difference. Yeah. Um, there are some tools that will help with auto filling, like some of the boring, so like, you know, name, address, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Um, and if you have a choice, like there are some people, like there are some therapists who have you fill out more forms than others. There mm -hmm. are coaches that have you do more questionnaires than others. Um, personally, I hate filling them out. So that's part of why I basically have almost none. Um, like if you're not in a position where you feel like that's a realistic thing to do, and, and two professionals are otherwise the same, maybe that's one of the questions you should be asking when you're like going to the different people and, and talking to them is, mm -hmm. hey, uh, is this, you know, is this negotiable? How much, how much do you have for onboarding? If you feel like that could be a huge barrier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, another thing that can get in the way is when we are confused about what it is that we actually want support with in the first place and we we kind of touched on this in a previous video but um you know one of the hopes is that first of all if you're in pain there there is more than likely some way out of it and hopefully the person giving you support hopefully in terms of a medical or therapeutic or coaching um uh, aspect can support you to figure out the fine tuning of that. So just the start of, I need help. I don't know what it is. Hopefully the other person will say, okay, let's figure out what that help is. Um, the analogy I would use is like a family doctor, right? A family doctor is not a specialist in everything that would be impossible. So they go, oh, you have a problem with this. So I'm sending you to this specialist. Talking it over with other people can be really great. If you're able to writing it in a journal to externalize like what should come first. And, and I think the pain issue is another really good one. Like what, if you have multiple things that you could potentially be asked, needing to ask help for, and you don't know where to start, where's the biggest pain point first, mm -hmm. or just like, where's the most approachable, mm -hmm. um, that can be one too. Like, how could I loosen anything the mm -hmm. easiest, fastest way? Mm -hmm. Um, so those could be part of it. It could be like, you know, which one needs the most attention? Like, 
okay, I need a lot of stuff for my job, but I don't know how to ask for it. So maybe what I need first is an ADHD coach to talk about it with. Mm. Maybe what I need is like a, a place that has co-working so that I have other people to work on it with. Mm. Like what, what pain point could start to address the others or is so big you can't see past it? Mm -hmm. Or like, if it's just all a lot, what could you get done the fastest and mm. the simplest so that you have one area of pain that started to be reduced so you don't have as much overall like, I really need help right now. Yeah. Do you have anything else? Nope. Except that overall, this is hard. All of the ways that we have not mentioned are also hard. And, and I guess, even though you only have my word for it, it's worth it. It, it is. And it's, it is so hard. Like it is so hard. Um, it's hard to feel like we aren't doing things on our own. It's hard to get past these barriers and figuring out like, how do I get the help to get past the barrier to get the help? Um, it, it can feel like it will take forever. And that is really frustrating with ADHD. Like it, we have the rejection sensitivity that factors in everywhere. It does make it way, way harder, but also like our feelings like we need to do things by ourselves. Um, and these little barriers, they may seem small, but they can be huge. Like I have procrastinated filling out a form much longer than I care to admit in public. Um, it's, these are real pain points and pretending like they're not a big deal. Isn't going to get you anywhere. Um, they, they do matter and they do add up and, and just know that, like know that yourself so that we can then find a way to move forward to the next thing. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us for how to ask for support when you need it and why it's harder with ADHD. If you have more questions, put them in the comments. We don't mind adding to this. Mm -hmm. Like Put them in the comments, ask us questions. Um, if you feel like we didn't cover something enough, like mm -hmm. feel free to interact with us. Let us know. Mm -hmm. We always appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks Bye. guys. Bye.